Uh oh! Oh, you screwed up! You screwed up, dude! <laughs> Hello everybody, Grace Joe Blaze, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive. Look at the water. Look at the tankers. Look at the mountains. We're back with more off-road police chases. Over here, the patented white Beam NG truck already attempting to flee from none other than the environmental police. When you piss off the environmental police, it's a bad day. This map is fantastic for off-road crazy police chases with all kinds of weird aerial jumps. Not from jumps that are made after market, I'm just talking about hills on the off-road chunklets here. It's friggin' awesome. The white beam MG truck is off, already having some trouble dealing with the terrain. The environmental police right behind him. This poor truck almost flipped. Like I said, the downhill level and the amount of bumps and dips and stuff like that is absolutely perfect for some epic police chases. And we go across the paved road and it lands, it sticks the landing, no big deal. The white beam MG truck has been given a little bit of extra uh, oomph, shall we say, in the engine department and it needs it. Look at it go around this, uh oh, this is bad. It almost drifted around that corner and the two environmental protection vehicles, one of them looks like it almost slid its way out. I think what I'm gonna do, uh oh, secondary police vehicle, Looks like it is shot. Let's go check him out over here. He's in a dead roll. This is terrible. Losing the... Oh, look, he saves it somehow. I don't know how, but I think he's not going to be able to continue this chase. Well, maybe he is. I guess you just called me a liar. And here's where people often lose it. Right here. Did not know his limitations, and for that, he paid the price. Both police officers pay the price. No way. And because of that, the white beam MG truck Gets to make it to the transport vehicle here to pick him up along with his, I don't know, gallons of horrible toxic gas that he'll be spreading through all of the sad people of the United States of America. You guys wanted to see cars that aren't really made for off-roading deal with the police in an off-road capable style. So right over here, the General League gonna be doing it Dukes of Hazard style. Will they be able to get away? Let's find out what in the world they're doing over here. Come on, let's one at a time now. Don't everyone push ahead. The second, I think that this guy was in the back, but now he has taken the lead position. Oh, General League going on the paved way. Very smart. Don't try and play to the strengths of your car. Unless something happens, I don't think that there's any, oh, never mind. I spoke way too soon. Now they're kind of catching up over here. Both vehicles playing it very, very cautiously. Look at this. Swing it from the outside. Oh, ho, 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 ho. tried to take that tail end off there for the General Lee. That was actually a pretty good idea. Now, if this police vehicle doesn't grow a pair of freaking cojones over here, old Gray's going to have to take the wheel. There we go. That's how you do it. Right into the sidewall. Yes. There you go, buddy. Go ahead and kiss that bumper. Kiss it real good. Oh, the General Lee! Just about to go over the edge. No, totally saved somehow. And now the General Lee is pushing through the police. Showing no fear. Get out of the way, police, he says. Look at this poor thing. Who's gonna be paying for all this friggin' body damage? Let's go ahead and grab some first person view here. This type of terrain is perfect for the first person view because we fly all over the place and we are, look at this thing. It is absolutely creaming. The General Lee, I think we're almost on top of the General Lee. What's gonna happen? There's a tree right ahead, no! Oh, <laughs> the full roll. Oh no, we're stuck in a roll. Going down the hillside, can we recover? Uh, yes, actually, we did recover, but where's the General Lee? The General Lee, still flying perfectly. It doesn't have a care in the world. It is going down at full speed, bouncing all over the place. Shocks are probably completely destroyed. Front end looks like crap. I'd be surprised if the driver can see anything at all. As a matter of fact, what is it like to be the driver right now? Uh, yeah, you, you'd probably be hanging your head out the window. What's the general, what is, what is he doing? What do you turn around for? I think that the bridge area is what we're going to have to call, more than likely, the, uh, the win. Over here, it's kind of like the finish line. You know what I mean? The bridge hangs overhead with the beautiful puffy white clouds in the background. If you can get to the bridge, you win because the bridge seems to love just, it's like, it's almost like a pinata. I decided we're going big boys. The environmental police called in for backup and what they got was these monsters, look at this. It's the US Department 
of safe borders. It's basically the border patrol. And look at these creatures here. The giant trucks are gonna be chasing after this heavy duty truck over here. The big question is, can they catch up to this thing? They look fairly slow, but let's see how well they do once we start off. Over here, the very first, you know what? Let's go to the lead border patrol unit over here. It's kind of wandering around right now, but once it gets going downhill, <laughs> it's like a, it's like an ox. Like once it finally gets moving, oh my God. Oh no, oh no, this is bad. Yep, this is real bad. Oh, oh Grace taking the hell boys. Here we go. How hard is it to drive this thing? Oh, it's pretty hard. Oh, it's so heavy. If I can just kiss that tailgate, screw it. We're going in sideways. No. <laughs> oh, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is, this is the type of bad that you don't want to be a part of. Wait, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're doing good. Where's the other truck? Oh, my wheel. My wheel can't really turn anymore. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Ah, uh, I tried. This is what's left. The other vehicle is like caught on a giant rock. And uh, this vehicle kind of looks like, I don't know what happened. It looks like a freaking elephant fell on it or something. Look at this, it's flattened. You didn't think that the rolling would do quite this much. All right, boys, it's the battle of the beasts. Everyone's driving something completely inappropriate now. What will happen? Oh, look at these things. Look at these creatures just bounce down the roadway. Oh. Something is about to go heinously wrong. Yes! Oh no! Luckily he's got some push bars on him. And right over here, we are going to have our very first, I would say our very first successful police takedown. Good job everyone, good job. Through all of that dust, there is a car. You guys wanted to see supercars like the Dubai Mobile on these types of off roads doing chases. So here we go, boys. Supercars all around. Let's do <laughs> Did it? <laughs> okay. Um, let's try that again. Coming down the roadway, our, our suspect vehicle. Wow. This thing is absolutely insane. There's no way that it doesn't go flying off a cliff. What is Dubai doing? Dubai's doing very well. Now these are all wheel drives. Uh, so they can, I don't know, I guess, hug a little bit on the roadway. Let's keep it going though. Hold on. Look at that air. Oh, Dubai's about to meet the same thing. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Get the underside of the car. You gotta get the underside of the car. There's its buddy over there too. Okay, that is sweet. That is absolutely amazing. I can't believe how well these supercars are doing on the off-road course though. Doing fantastic. But these turns right here have a way of changing the course of the chase completely. Right there, Dubai getting a little bit of a side swipe on our vehicle, but nope, still not able to catch it. Uh oh, both the Bible bills. One going flying, here we go. And there it is. The tumble begins and Dubai Meeting its fate. Can it recover? I think it will. What fantastic braking power. Second to buy mobile, kind of hanging on the side of a hill over here. Suspect vehicle starting to go. All right, there we go. Suspect vehicle is now on its way. I think it's just having trouble figuring out exactly where the hell it wants to. Oh, it's having trouble staying on the road because it's, its body is all screwed up. Hey, says Dubai. This is bad. Yep, I knew it was bound to happen. Now that's how the suspect vehicle does have a screwed up wheel. He sh probably should have surrendered. Put your hands up, baby. You can't beat Dubai. Dubai has all four working wheels. You are screwed as long as they don't run into a, I think I just heard, <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I just heard the secondary vehicle run into something like a road sign or something. All right, bye. If these two police vehicles can work together for just a minute, I think they would have, here it is. A fantastic opportunity right there to go ahead and catch our suspect scumbag and that was a perfect hit the two cars no I would have thought the two cars would be intertwined to buy a shot no way the primary Dubai mobile is out of commission where's the secondary one the secondary one is also out of commission and our suspect oh our suspects on his side so now you guys are gonna have to vote and say 
whether or not the suspect would be able to crawl out of the vehicle and run his ass to victory. Now this guy has something to fear. Not only do we have the Dubai mobiles, which are hanging out, we have a freaking monster truck. Let's check out our suspect vehicle here flying down the roadway. Just barely got his back end touched by Dubai, but still doing very well. Dubai right behind him though. Catching some sweet ass air right there. Uh oh. Well, we got problems, boys. Uh oh. Oh, totally saved. Somehow totally recovered. I don't know how. Whoa. <laughs> Dubai just barely misses. I can't believe that. And that Dubai mobile is now on its back like a turtle on its shell. And he is screwed. Secondary Dubai, though. Doing okay, I want to say. Our suspect vehicle has done excellent piloting all these various turns and dips and stuff like that. Now over here, is he going to choose to go on the pavement? Or are we going to go ahead and stay? Right over here. There it is. There's the roll. Right here is when you, when you say to yourself, you know, I should have just returned all the toxic waste. I should have just returned the nerve gas. Uh-oh. Oh, you screwed up. You screwed up, Aaron! <laughs> That's the takedown of a lifetime right there. I mean, technically the suspect is still in one piece. I mean, I guess he could make a getaway, but that was a sweet hit. Get him, monster truck! Get him! Get him! Run his ass over! All right, kind of kissed him a little bit. That was like a, like a shy teenage boy or something like that. Now this is looking good. This is looking good. Yeah! just ramps right over it. It's funny because it can't actually take the car down. He is going to make it to the bridge. So that means that our suspect vehicle does make it scot-free, I think. Yeah, he's going to get caught on the bridge over here. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, yeah! Monster truck had to get that one last hit in. All right, I appreciate that. You boys are always asking for it, so we're going to do it. It's the silver bullet. How does the silver bullet do in off-road chases? Oh, this is this is the worst idea I think I've ever had. Yep. I knew this was gonna happen. Ooh. <laughs> that was an excellent way to take out one of the police officers. What sort of Hall of Fame WWE maneuver was that? Oh, and the silver bullet goes down. No one can stop the silver bullet. Although I will say the uh, monster truck doing a damn good job. Hold on, this requires a cinematic style of view. Is that Dubai Mo Mobile actually caught in the wheels of the freaking monster truck? It looks like it is. It's amazing. Okay, there we go. Finally, the silver bullet gets grounded. Why? Because uh, the axle broke? Because the vehicle took too much damage? Nope. Because it's currently being bench pressed by the Dubai Mobile. Well, one of them. We're doing it. It's freaking space balls. It's ludicrous speed. Top speed, 278 miles an hour. Let's freaking do this. There is no way that this is not ending with some pixelated carnage. Although I will say, the Emperor over here is doing quite well. Spaceball's losing his front bumper a little bit. Uh, but the Schwartz is with them. Ooh, a swing and a miss. That guy whiffed so hard, he's gonna give Dark Helmet a freaking cold. Well done. Oh, President Scroob. All that money that you put into the engine over here of the Spaceballs mobile was well worth it. Spaceballs doing way better than I thought it would. I thought it would have wiped out and just gone insane by now. Look at this. Oh, boy. There we go. Little bit of an impromptu meeting with a tree. Like a little bit of a, like a backbreaker right there. How is this sapling so damn strong? Both vehicles now out of commission. All that's left is this monster truck, but there is no way in hell it's catching up to ludicrous speed. I decided to double check, and yes, it is way back there. Oh no! No, Dark Helmet, what have you done? We can't stop. We've got to slow down first. There goes the wheel. All right, boys, we're gonna do one last chase over here. Now, I did spawn a little something extra toward the bottom of the hill. Yes, it's a spike strip. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Do you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. I went ahead and put less barricades in. Oh, this is bad. What a hit. And now one of the tires is derping out sideways. Oh, so bad. He's never gonna, wow. 
I was about to say, he's never gonna make it to the spike strip. I'm pretty sure he won't make it to the spike strip, but let me know if you do wanna see some spike strips and stuff, because I do still like them. I do like to see them in action. They're really cool. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG Drive Off-Road Chases where we saw some of the most ridiculous stuff yet. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below, as always, if there's anything else that you'd like to see because I love putting these things together for you guys. And until the next time, <laughs> oh my God. Stay boxy and much love, yes!